This review is done out of pure curiosity. I got an email about an NHOLC 58 volt, 930 CFM, 200 mile an hour blower. This dude to me looked a lot like a different brand that's out there. Looks a lot like Ego. Same battery configuration. In fact, the voltage on this is going to be the same. This battery is going to be 58 volts when it's fully charged and it's gonna drop down to 47 volts when it turns off. Same as the 56 volt Ego. They label this as 58 volt max. Now, when we look at the battery, it looks very similar to what we've seen on the other side. This is a five amp hour battery. Slides right onto the back of the blower. Very similar to what you've seen before. In fact, even the way this all goes together is very similar to what we've seen in other blowers. The big difference here in why I was super excited about this 930 CFM. Do you believe it? That's my question. How can you have 930 CFM come out of a hand style blower that weighs four pounds and not get super fatigued or have something hurt? I mean, 930 CFM, 200 mile per hour is the same or slightly less than a steel BR800X or BR800CE backpack blower. The top of the line 4.4 horsepower backpack blower is rated the same as this guy. You have to be curious when it comes out to that. So I did a ton of testing with this and the first thing that I wanted to do is make sure that I could blow a ton of leaves and you'll see me blowing leaves down this driveway and I am on turbo. On turbo, of course, this is doing its max, 930 CFM, and it's hard to hang on to. I'm not saying that it's pushing that hard, but I'm telling you the way I have to hold on to this and push the turbo button, it gets sore. So you'll see me a lot with this resting against my leg. Total runtime on turbo with this guy from start to finish is 11 minutes 47 seconds. There are some breaks in between as I move the camera, but that is what I got. I did not run it on anything less than that. Now, if you drop down and don't use turbo, that time is going to be extended. Those times are very, very similar to what I get on the 600-ish CFM Ego 56 volt stuff with a five amp hour battery. So that interests me a little bit because obviously there's efficiency when we look at different blowers, how efficiently can you get this stuff out, but there's also going to be a power to runtime balance. You can only do so much with what you have and being that this measures out the same, I was just very curious. So that gives me a little more insight to what we have here. However, this does have some interesting things that are on it. Let's come in and take a look. So this comes with different tips, not overly surprising. You have something that can narrow things down, get underneath leaves. This is going to increase the miles per hour, decrease the CFM. And the tip that is on it and the one that the company said you must use if you're gonna use and do a video is what they call a siphon tip. And I think this is super interesting because obviously it's going to have wind coming out the portion, which is the same size tube as at the end, but then it's gonna suck air with it through. I have not seen anything else like this on the market. It did work. I don't know if it was more impressive using this or just having this open either way. Uh, it did work quite well, but I thought this was an interesting tip. As we look at this blower, there is a lever that you're gonna pull and it's all gonna slide apart. Very simple. While it's in its smaller configuration, I can move it around a little bit to show you. Variable speed trigger down here. This could get loud, headphone wearers beware. Variable speed trigger is awesome. Trigger on this is absolutely amazing. If you pull the trigger in and you want it to stay on, push the cruise control and you're in business. You can rev it higher, but it will never go lower than that. Push the cruise control to go off. Now this is cool too, cruise control on. There's turbo, back to cruise. I thought that was neat. Now this will also turn red when the battery is depleted or you're getting right down in there, which comes on somewhere around 48 volts. And this will tell you instead of being green. Now the actual battery itself, notice that came off just like some of the other ones out there. 
has a battery meter on it that's half circle not a full circle very interesting it does have some breathers in it so you can get some of the heat out i like that portion of it obviously you're not going to want to get water in this is a 2p p pack so there's going to be 28 cells in here pretty sweet as far as everything goes together you have four different connections as far as what is here and what I expected, this is well beyond my expectations of kind of what I'd say is a no-name blower on the market. It's surprising. Rubber overmold here, the trigger again, great. You have a place, if you had a shoulder strap, it does not come with one. In fact, this comes in a, just a plain box, not even labeled, which again was interesting. Uh, but this shoulder strap would be definitely needed or you would want it just because there is enough coming out of here if you're running it on turbo consistently or if you have your hand specifically like this pulling the trigger this isn't bad right you can kind of push against it use the weight but when you have to put your thumb up top and hold the turbo button that is when you seem to lose quite a bit and it starts to stress right in your wrist and it's not fun but either way this works out it would be nice if you could just push the turbo button and it would stay on that would have been ideal but they probably don't want you to hold that turbo button on for a long period of time obviously it diminishes runtime significantly the battery charger that comes with this takes about an hour and a half for it to charge bottom to top. It does have a green light on top that tells you what's happening. It's blinking while it's charging. This looks awful similar to some of the other ones on the market also. 2.3 amp as far as how that goes. Not a bad charger. It's going to take a little bit in between battery drainings and chargings for you to get back out there and continue working. For any of you guys who geek out on technical data, they do have two models of this. One is going to be 730 CFM, 145 mile per hour. The one we have here is 930, 200 mile per hour. It's a difference in Newtons, but weighs the same though. Both machines, 4.85 pounds. That is going to be without the battery. Now, the, here's the difference. They both come with the siphon nozzle. If you get the 930 CFM, you're also going to get the torpedo and the spread nozzle. So it's interesting to take a look at what they have. Same manual for them, same machine, basically, I'm going to guess, just maybe toned down or a different motor in the lower CFM model. I have to say, it interests me greatly to look at this in two things. First, 930 CFM just blows away any other brand out there. They, even the big ones in the box stores, that might be pushing things a little bit, and it almost blows away some 4.4 horsepower gas blowers. So that interests me just to see, hey, what's it like? Number two, someone's putting a ton of money into a product that doesn't have a huge name here in the United States. And they also came out in call this the N-Hulk Pro series. So uh, there's a lot of money invested in kind of making these batteries look like they do the rubber overmold. A lot of things are happening around this that intrigue me to say the least because I don't see them blowing out in the big box stores yet anyway. So there was a lot to the hype around this and the build construction and who's putting in all this money to making this tool to come out with probably an Amazon brand or something like that, which is probably great for whoever's going to buy it. It just interested me a lot in saying, okay, you're, you're claiming some serious CFM and you have some serious build quality. Where is this all coming from and why? While I can't get to the where is it coming from and why, I guess I can tell you that this is what I would consider ego quality in a slightly overrated package. But I think a lot of blowers are overrated these days, especially compared to ones that you might have seen four or five years ago. And there has to be some sort of rating issue or ability for them to up that rating because even if you look at some of the Husqvarna I believe it's a 150 BT a backpack blower we're going to have a review out on that soon and that blower has had some higher ratings 
and or lower ratings and now it is significantly higher with a slightly different design in a smaller tube which it shouldn't have higher ratings on it's just interesting to see what's happening and I compare some of these blower ratings to what we see in vacuums where they'll tell us we have a six horsepower peak wet dry vac it's not the case and it's sad because I'd really like to be able to compare blowers across the board or vacuums across the board for that matter and get something that is going to give me an exact in a certified number instead of something that somebody kind of found for three seconds or three tenths of a second rather than something that just isn't going to produce that consistently. And that's what I'd like to see across the board in some of this stuff. While this blower does rock it out, I'm not here to tell you that you should buy it or shouldn't buy it. I just really was curious and I would assume that you might be also once you look at this and say, wow, this is very similar to something else that I've seen. Then this company either came in and took it and made it what they are or something else is going on that we don't know about. And I'm gonna to continue to research it, but if you know anything about what's happening here or why or who or when or what the purpose is, spread that around by leaving a comment about it. I'd really like to hear not only what you guys think about this, if you know anything more about this other than they have two blowers on the market that seem to be rated higher than many, many other handheld blowers out there in the same voltage category and they look like a few of the other ones that are on the market. So very interesting to me. I assume it is to you also. I look forward to the comments. Please give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.